The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. When completing the square, it's very important to understand that we cannot have a coefficient on the squared term. So our first step in this problem is to get rid of our coefficient of 3 by dividing both sides of the equation by 3 and we have n squared minus 4 thirds n minus 1 third equals 0. Next we move the negative 1 third to the right side of the equation and we have n squared minus four-thirds n equals one-third. And remember to leave room for your spaces. The number that goes in each of these spaces comes from half the coefficient of the middle term squared. What is half of negative four-thirds? Well, when taking half of a fraction, the easiest way to do it is to simply take half of the numerator. In other words, half of negative four-thirds is simply negative two-thirds. So we have negative two-thirds squared. And when squaring a fraction, square both the numerator and the denominator. So we have positive four-ninths, which we add to both sides of the equation. On the left, we can factor this perfect squared trinomial as a binomial squared. And remember, the binomial will use half the coefficient of the middle term in the trinomial. And we've already determined that half of negative four-thirds is negative two-thirds. So we have n minus two-thirds squared equals and on the right, one-third plus four-ninths can be thought of as three-ninths plus four-ninths or seven-ninths. To solve for n, we square root both sides and we have n minus two-thirds equals plus or minus root seven over three. Adding two-thirds to both sides we end up with n equals 2 plus or minus root 7 over 3, which we can write in set notation. 